check it out, Casper! Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in, Casper here, and as a TF2 content creator, one of the most common questions I get asked is, what's the best weapon in Team Fortress 2, in your opinion, or what's your favourite weapon? And my usual answer to that is, I'm going to think about it. Now, considering that Team Fortress 2's large scale and its variety of gameplay, its weapons, for the most part, are fairly well balanced, and whilst there may be some overpowered or broken weapons, I would be reluctant to call any of them the best or the strongest. So what I've done, I comprise a list of weapons in Team Fortress which I personally consider not just the best in terms of their damage, but in terms of their impact on Team Fortress 2, i.e. what significant changes that they create in the gameplay, and also their creativity and innovation as a game mechanic as a whole. Five. Number five is the Jurati. Now, I honestly believe that Jurati is one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Whilst it only gives 35% extra damage, you've got to remember that that extra damage applies for every single player on your team, as well as applying to many multiple enemies at once, depending on how many you get splashed. And again, whilst 35% doesn't sound like a lot, that extra damage is the difference to turn a single rocket or grenade into a one-shot kill against four out of the nine classes. A Jurati thrown into a populated capture point can easily change a casual damaging rocket that might kill no one suddenly into a spray of body parts and piss. Beyond its damaging properties, which would make this weapon very strong on its own, it has a ton of utility uses, including revealing cloaked spies and extinguishing burning teammates or even yourself. With such powerful uses, this weapon almost no-brainer to equip on Sniper. Now if it wasn't for the fact that some of the other secondaries are also so damn powerful, you'd probably see it a lot more. Four, four, four. And number four, I haven't so much as picked a single weapon, but an entire concept that many weapons use. And that is reward weapons, i.e. weapons that give you a sort of buff for doing well. We all know random crits are technically not completely random as your chances to get them increase the more damage you do. But I'm talking about weapons with guaranteed and predictable boosts, usually related to the amount of damage you do. For example, the Bizarre Bargain increases your damage charge rate the more headshots you hit, directly rewarding you for playing well. Or the buff ban, which gives a temporary damage boost to you and close proximity teammates after you've put out 600 damage. I.e., if you play well, don't die, do a lot of damage, you get rewarded. That's a brilliant idea to promote playing well and often encourage team play. There are several mechanics which fit into this which directly encourage team play, such as pyros extinguishing burning teammates to get 20 HP, or, perhaps most obviously, all of the mediguns. Uber charges of all types are one of the most powerful things in the game, and usually the most important factor in playmaking during competitive games. And what is the only way to build those, ignoring the uber saw? Well, to heal your teammates. Such a direct team play based reward is a simple yet brilliant mechanic that really puts the team into Team Fortress 2, even if hardly anything else does. And that's just a few of the weapons that reward you for doing well. It's never going to be an easy task to balance a competitive shooter to make both accessible for new players and have a high enough skill ceiling for experienced players. But things such as skill reward or risk reward or team play reward mechanics are definitely a great and powerful feature of Team Fortress 2. Now at number three we've got another concept, more than one specific weapon, and not because I necessarily like this concept, but it makes this list because of its creativity and the absolute fundamental change of gameplay it adds to the game compared to its counterparts. We are of course talking about the Demo Man shields, and in fact Demo Knight as a whole. Often jokingly called the 10th class, you can't deny that full Demo Knight with the booties and melee only, is a significantly different thing to play than normal Demo Man. Whilst the principal ability of all the shields is the same, press M2 to charge and get boosted damage, the subtle differences between them means making the choice between damage, crits, and damage resistance, and that can be an interesting mini-game unto itself, although who could complain about 100% turn control and melee kills returning 75% of charge? Ultimately the shields are a gimmick, but if it wasn't for zany shit and crazy gimmicks, would we all love Team Fortress 2 as much as we do? Honestly, the shields aren't that strong, nor are they even that viable in standard play, but for their absolute creativity as a concept, they definitely deserve a place in this list. Do you remember that kid in school who was like, maximum geek, no one liked him because, well, he was a bit of a dick, and then you turn on the TV a few years later, and BAM! That kid you laughed at, Brad Pitt, is now a movie star and all-around awesome. That's right, number three is the quick fix. 
I find it hard to think of any weapon which has caused as big a U-turn in community opinion as the Quick Fix. What was once a joke weapon is now very much a contender in balanced many gun choice, and many players go for a healing item. In the year 1 BQ, that's before Quick Fix, medics were much less mobile and, due to building charge at a slower rate, were more confined to hiding behind the battle lines in order to avoid being killed without charge. Today, medics roam free with more regular uber deployments and an actual reason to heal scouts even if it is just to leech off their speed for two seconds. Now that there are three medigun choices, as opposed to the two which existed BQ, it adds a really powerful rock-paper-scissors metagame to a competitive team's uber choice. And we all know how popular rock-paper-scissors has become. And for the record, I am of course aware of the vaccinator, and I've certainly come up against people using it very effectively. However, the quick fix was revolutionary when it came out and its stats finally settled, and that's why it's here as my number two top weapon in Team Fortress. There can be only one! If I told you, hey, check out this game, where one out of the nine characters has a guaranteed insta-kill mechanic, you'd probably say something like, lol, no. If I then told you that that character also gets double points for using this mechanic, you'd probably start googling alternatives to Team Fortress 2. However, Valve have somehow added this to a game without making it feel like bullshit. Well, at least when you're not getting face stabbed. Of course, I'm talking about the butterfly knife and spy melee in general. As a mechanic on its own, it sounds ridiculous, but combined with the disguise kit, invisibility cloaking, and all the other characters in Team Fortress 2, it just feels right at home. The reason the Spice Knife is my number one weapon in the game is because of the truly unique gameplay it allows us to enjoy that would be really difficult to replicate anywhere else and would probably ruin any other game it was added to. I hope you're listening, Blizzard. I was so tempted to include the Disguise Kit or the Dead Ringer, the Cloak and Dagger on the Invis Watch on this list, but a top 5 TF2 weapons where I just listed the mechanics for one class would be a bit of a cop-out, wouldn't it? So there you have it the best weapons in Team Fortress 2, in my humble opinion. And before you angrily start hammering your keyboard with your fists saying things like, how can you not have said Darwin's danger steal that weapon is so strong? I remind you that this list is not the strongest weapon in Team Fortress 2, but best in terms of its innovation, its gameplay mechanics, and its creative opportunity. On the topic of Darwin's Danger Shield, that piece of crap would actually rank quite high for my list of worst TF2 weapons due to the way that it craps all over the sniper metagame. I hope you enjoyed, and of course everyone's going to have slightly different perspectives on this, and I encourage you to let me know what you think and why you think it. If you are new around here, we've got new Team Fortress every Thursday and also other videos on Tuesday. Sometimes that's Team Fortress as well. Other times it's Overwatch or whatever. And here's the subscribe button on screen and a couple of videos for viewers new and old to check out. So thanks everybody, and I'll see you next time.